Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to um, teach you guys about how to hold objects in array. So like, like how to put objects in arrays. Okay, so what we're going to do is make a new class. <laughs> like, Plato. And so we call it Plato. Then we're going to um, so make a new class, call it Plato. And we are going to put... Constructor called player player net element player public public play player and inside of this we're gonna put a string name. So now what we wanna do is make a new variable up here a public string. So we're gonna do public no, make it private. We're gonna make it a private string name. And so we're gonna do this dot name equals name. So this dot name means I mean it refers to this. So this it means the global one. So this dot name would mean the global variable and that is this. And equals name and that just means this. So um let's make a method that's get name public int int string get name return name that's all you have to do so we got the name and it returns name into this get name method and that just means it um that just means it holds it in here like get that means it just hold it like so public string get name I taught you this so let me just review it again because it's been a while so yeah. so on public we make it public then we make it a string type then we get then we set it then we call it get name then we return name and when we return name it returns the the uh, um, name into this method and we can use this method as a variable later so now let's um, go here, make a new array, call it player, and we'll call it p equals, uh, oops, you need to put the brackets, don't forget that, equals new player, player, uh, bomb, new player, So there we go, now we have, make, let me make this clear to you now. So we make, we make the array type player, so that means we make it the type of player. Like, so we make it the, uh, the class player. Then we equal it, then we call it P, then we equal it to a, a new player equals Bob. Then we equal it to new player equals Sid. So now we want to do, now what we want to do is make an enhanced for loop, for string, and our player, because it's the type player, then we're just going to call this player, and why not? Uh, then we're going to put a colon, and a, then we want it to look through the array player. So this is really cool now. So now what we do, because we made the method get name, we're going to do system dot out dot print line p dot no player dot bit name. Now let's run this program and just show you what it does. Bob sif sif, it prints it out. It prints out Bob sif. Okay. <laughs> um, now let me show you this. So we make a new array called player. And that the type player. Then we um, equal it to a new object. Two new objects. This is how you make an object, but you cannot use it only one time. So you like like if you did this player let new player Bob you would never be able to access that because you can't do like there's no way to call it like but if, but if we do like equals B player like that we could do B then call it like that but anyway, so we have the array, uh, it's equal to two new objects, 
and um, one of the names is Bob, and the second one is Sith, so we set the names to Bob and Sith. Then we um, uh, have a method, Then so we have a private string, you know. Then we, uh, when you make the um, object, the instance of it, it um, you put the name, and then name gets equal, then the thing you typed in gets equal to the uh, variable name in the player class. Then there's a method called get name. It just returns name to the method string, and we can use that. And we can use the method as a variable. Then we just make a for loop. So I'm mean, gonna um a enhanced for loop. And what this does is it loops through player. It loops through the array player, and it all the data like all the data is stored into the um, name player. So this this one player and then we just do player that get name and so it will print out it will loop let me tell you it like this it will loop through once it will have this object when it loops through the first time and we just do player that get name then it gets the name then it prints out the name Bob then it loops again then it goes to the next one and it prints out Sith because the name is Sith and that's it um, I hope this isn't too confusing. Go over it a bit. Um, thanks for watching. Sub, comment, and like. See you later.